What's up everybody? My name is Mike. Today we're gonna do a comparison between four bucks. Don't ask how. So the first comparison is gonna is gonna happen with um if I can get the book straight. Um we're gonna do a comparison on the Whippy Kid Movie Diary 1 from what, what year is this? 2010, 11, 12? I don't know. Uh, 2011, 2011, we're going to compare this book, which came out in 2011, and the Whippy Kid, the Whippy, the Whippy Kid Movie Diary, the next chapter, which is the more newer one, um, made in 2017, I think, I'm not wrong about that, and we're going to do a comparison on a full color Captain Underpants book versus... A non-color Captain Underpants book. So, yeah. Move that out of my way, please. Alright, so, first of all, we're going to do a comparison on the first movie, on the first movie diary. I almost poked myself in the eye because I'm an idiot. And the newest movie diary. My thumb is not supposed to be in that way. Okay, let's first do it with the movie diary, first one. And I'm going to do a comparison of fronts. I'll let you guys, I'll let you guys figure out the differences. Alright, so time's up. So, the first movie diary, you can see that the title, The Whippy Kid's in red, and the movie diary is in uh, blue. Um, but then, for some reason, they completely swapped the colors with the newest one. Um... Right here it says, uh, Whippy Kids in blue this time, and the movie diary is in red. And as you can, and if you also can see, if you can't see, this doesn't say the making of Diary of Whippy Kid the movie. No, it doesn't say, it. instead it just says, how Greg Halfley went Hollywood. Yeah, I know you guys can read, I'm just reading, I'm just reading read, read in case you don't know. And then it includes, it, it includes a short little part of Roger Rules. This one also has the cheese on it, and it's also on the spine. Alright, so if you compare it to this, you can see there's a cartoon. There's no real-life version of Greg. It's just the cart. It's just the book version of Greg holding a bag of cheese puffs with birds attacking him, and Manny holding a um, film thing saying the making of the long haul. Alright, okay, so now we looked at the cover front, so let's look at the um, spines. Here's the spines of the two books. Oh, is in the right way the other place? Dang. Okay, so here's the spines of the two books. I'm gonna let you compare. Okay, time's up. Okay, so if you cannot tell, the spine has can you can see kind of um Zachary Gordon's, yeah, that's the character's name. Kind of his body. You can kind of see some of his body. But, but on this one, it's only just his head. Because he got decapitated. Ha! That's no laughing matter. Um. Oh, wait. This is going to be part one. Ha! Ooh, oh, no, no. I spit on my screen. Okay, this is going to be part one. I, I, for, I did, forgot to mention it. This is going to be part one of the comparison book series. We're going to do Diary of Wimpy Kid first. And then Captain Underpants in the second part. All right. Now, that, now we got that out of the way. Um, you have to spine for this one, as I was saying. Um, what am I talking about? Okay, for this one, you can see the cheese right here. And you can see Kenny. And you can see the old Amulet Books logo right there. And on the newest one, instead of the cheese, since the cheese is not in the movie, you get this ugly pacifier that was used in the movie. And the newer Amulet logo, it's no longer a square, it's a circle. I don't know why they went with that. But here's a comparison of the two Amulet logos. I'm going to get my head out of the way. Yeah, okay, whatever. Here's a comparison of the two Amulet logos. And, um, okay. If you don't know, this book has the exact same pages as a normal Diary of Wimpy Kid book. Around 217. Yeah, exactly 217, right? No, this one has 2,000... This one has, um, 215 pages. <clears throat> if you cannot tell, this one only has a simple 999. Don't know why they shortened this book. But, yeah. 
stuff like that. Mm -hmm. All right. So um, now let's compare the backs. Oh, God, you stretch over. Here's the backs for the two books. I'll let you compare and contrast. All right, done. Okay, so for the first one, it, what it says was, what it says is, go behind the scenes with Jeff Kenny in the making of the Diary of Wimpy Kid movie. And pause if you want to read all that, because I really don't feel like reading it. All right. So it shows you scenes from the movie, or stills, as you, as some people call it. Yeah, there's some stills, and so there's some more stills down here. Uh, this book retailed for... 14 books in the U.S., but in Canada, it was 17 books. And this book sold for $16 and 19 bucks. 20 bucks in Canada. Oh, my God. All right. So, on the back of this book, you can see, like, a, see a, what is that called? A car mirror? I'm just calling it a car mirror. You can see a car mirror with, um, Rowley, um, Roderick, which I do not like the design for him. I didn't, I didn't like the choice of design. Jason Drucker and the pig. Greg. Th that's Jason Drucker, if you didn't know. And there's no scene. There's no stills or anything. What it says is, Go on a movie-making journey of epic, portion, of epic proportions in the Wimpy Kid Movie Diary, the next chapter. And again, read if you want to. Read if you want to, if you just want to. And then, and then you have the Wimpy Kid... And then you have Diary of Wimpy Kid, the Long Haul logo. All right. So that's it for the main, that's it for like the covers, spines, and backs of the books. Now we're going to compare the first page, which you see. Okay. So this is the first page of the Wimpy Kid movie diary. See, there's like, um, what are these? Oh, these are, um, pictures of, these are like, um, pictures they use in the first Wimpy Kid book. Yeah. So, uh, none of them are repeated, which is which is a surprise. Surprise, surprise! No, nothing's repeated. Wait, I might be wrong about that. I think I'm wrong. I think some pages did. I think something got repeated. No, nothing got repeated by my standards. All right, so that's it for that. And if you look at this page, it's, it's just creepy. You get a picture of Greg's head. Get pictures of Greg's head. That's disgusting. It's creepy and morbid. Okay, now that we're done with that, we're gonna see. We're gonna see who the books are for. This one's to Zach and Robert, the two main, the two people, the two guys that started the movie. And you have Greg's diary. I mean, I mean journal, journal. I never said diary. She said diary. I know I didn't. And I'm pretty sure they got lazy with this one. So. This one has its own. Yeah, no, everything is good. They got super lazy with this. I swear to God. They used the same picture they used on the spine. That's lazy. And then it says to Jason, Jason Drucker. All right. So before we leave, um, what, what do, you, what do I, what book will I recommend? Will it be the first movie diary or the second? Hmm, it's kind of hard to choose, but this one has to be the winner. It's the original, and P.S., it includes an extra movie. This one has more pages. This one has um better artwork than the other one, I swear. You got you get stills from the movie on the back, and overall, just, it's, just, it's just better. That's all. They get early concept art. From the Diary of Wimpy Kid in this book, you get early, early concept art. It's pretty epic. It shows you when Zachary was bored and all of that. It was awesome. But this book, they don't discuss anything about that. They, they don't discuss when he was born or anything. I mean, I gotta give them that. They include a sequel to the uh, Double Down comic, Night of the, Li Night of the Nightcrawlers. Yeah. But they do not tell you when they were born, which is just kind of lazy on my part. I'm trying to see. No. This one also has deleted scenes, but this one doesn't, which sucks. I just call this book way better than the other one. 
just, it just, it just sucks. Um, not this book, th th this book, this book sucks. Um, I'll totally recommend this one, but if you're a hardcore Wimpy, fa Wimpy Kid fan like me, uh, like I am, then, um, then go pick this up. I'm not stopping you from picking this book up, but, um, just, just on my part, this book isn't really good after all. Lesser pages, getting lazy with the, getting lazy, not including any stills from the movie, just including the logo. It could have included stills, like, in the first one. And overall, this book just sucks. To my standards, if anyone, if anyone likes that book, then I'll totally give them that. But, yeah, this book is way better. Again, like I said, like, I meant, like, a second ago, if you like this book, that's okay, okay? I'm not saying, oh, this book sucks, you shouldn't get it. Oh, whoever owns this book is a maniac. Whoever owns this book sucks, they should get a life. I'm not saying that. I'm saying that whoever likes this book, I'm okay with. I'm, I completely understand. Maybe people just like the, maybe just people like um, how the making of the Long Haul was, and probably the Long Haul wasn't their favorite film. But personally, to me, it wasn't. Kind of lazy. I would totally recommend this book and the first three Wimpy Kid movies, but not. But I will not recommend. Again, I say I'm not saying that you guys shouldn't buy the book. But um, I do not recommend the Diary of w the Long Haul movie in that in the book. But I totally recommend the original book. The original book is awesome, one of my favorite books. So okay, that's it for the comparison between Wimpy Kid Movie Diary and the Wimpy Kid Movie Diary the next chapter. In the next video, we are going to be comparing a full color Captain Underpants book between a non colored Captain Underpants book. And no, I don't have copies of each book. I just have one of each. And but and like a majority of my books are in full color of these, right? So we're going to be comparing these two books. So thank you guys for watching. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Oh, wait a minute. <coughs> this is going to be about three. But in part three, we're going to be comparing the two. What? So in the right. so in part three, we're gonna be comparing two Lego books. So thank you guys for watching. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Please subscribe. That's how you just subscribe. I think it's that's what I get. So thank you guys for watching. Make sure you like if you feel like it. Make sure you like, comment if you feel like it, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!